selamat Haleluya Anak Allah Haleluya Juru selamat Haleluya Sudah bangkit Haleluya Akan datang Haleluya Sudah bangkit Haleluya Akan datang Haleluya Puji Tuhan Haleluya Anak Allah Juru selamat Puji Tuhan Yesus Kristus Anak Allah Juru selamat Haleluya 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 Puji Tuhan Haleluya Yesus Kristus Haleluya Puji Tuhan Haleluya Yesus Kristus Haleluya Anak Allah Haleluya Puji selamat Haleluya Anak Allah Haleluya Juru selamat Haleluya Sudah Haleluya 
the congregation to stand, please. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Jesus said, I have come that they may have life and may have it to the full. 
Hallelujah. Christ, our Passover lamb, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah. Worthy is the lamb that was slain. In my and honor and glory and blessing. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth, who keeps faith forever, and who does not forsake the work of his hands. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Ah. Amen. There is no way by which we can explain the event of resurrection. It is the resurrection explains us. It is because of the resurrection that we are here to celebrate our faith. You may be seated. Jesus Christ is risen today. Compassion and forgiveness belong to the Lord our God, though we have rebelled against him. Let us then renounce our willfulness and seek his mercy by confessing our sins in penitence and faith. Gracious God, we have heard the good news, how on the third day Christ rose again. Still, we look for the living among the dead. You rolled away the stone from the tomb. Yet we look to living among the dead. You sent messengers to proclaim the gospel. But still we look for the living among the dead. Faithful to your promise, you have done wonderful things. 
while we continue to look for the living among the dead. Forgive us, Lord, we pray. Teach us to trust your promise, to believe the good news of salvation, to find the truth of abundant life, your gift to those who trust in you. invite the congregation to stand up. Sisters and brothers in Christ, God who is rich in mercy, out of great love with which he loved us even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the ages to come, he might show the immeasurable, immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. The mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting. May the God of mercy who forgives you all your sins strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit keep you in eternal life. In Jesus Christ, the risen Lord, we are truly forgiven. Hallelujah. The peace of Christ be with you. And also with you. Now let us use this opportunity to greet one another, saying, Peace of Christ be with you. Sisters and brothers in Christ, I appeal to you by the mercies of God to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God. This is your spiritual worship. Do not be confirmed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Glory be to the Father.
could not climb in desperation i turned to heaven and spoke your name into the night then through the darkness your loving kindness tore through the shadows of my soul the work is finished the end is written jesus christ my living hope then came the morning that sealed the promise your very body began to breathe out of silence the roaring lion declared the grave has no claim on me jesus yours is the victory set me free hallelujah that has brought his grip on me you have broken every chain that salvation is your name jesus christ my living hope hallelujah praise the one who set me free on me you have broken every chain the salvation is your name jesus christ my living hope because he He live. I can face tomorrow because He lives. All fear is gone because I know. The stone was rolled away. His perfect love could not be overcome. Now that where is your sting, our rest. 
resurrected King has rendered to defeated forever He is glorified forever He is lifted high forever He is risen He is alive He is alive He is alive, He is A home in Jesus' time. Six siblings sit around days after Jesus' crucifixion.
thousand generations falling down and worship to sing a song of ages to the land all who gone before us and all who will believe will sing the song of ages to the land your name is the highest your name is the greatest your name stands above them all all thrones and dominions all power and positions your name stands above them all and the angel cry Holy, all creation cries. Holy, you are lifted high. Holy, holy forever. If you've been forgiven, and if you've been Sing the song of ever to the land. If you walk in freedom, if you bear his name, sing the song forever to the land. We'll sing the song forever and amen. And the angels cry. Oh, oh. All creation cries, Holy, you are lifted high, Holy, Holy forever. Hear your people sing, Holy, to the King of Kings. Your name is the greatest. Your name stands above them all. All thrones and dominions, all powers and positions, your name stands above them all. Your name is the highest. Your name is the greatest. Your name stands above them all. All thrones and dominions, all powers and positions, your name stands above them all. And the angels cry, Holy, all creation cries, Holy.
It is now time for us to read the scriptures and to contemplate them all. But before we read the scriptures, let us all bow our head in prayer. Let us pray. Almighty and Heavenly Father, our Father in Jesus Christ the Lord, who raised from the dead, Lord, Prepare our hearts to accept your word. Silent in us any voice but your own, that hearing we may also obey your will. Tell us what we need to hear and show us what we ought to do to obey Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Happy Easter, everyone. Today's scripture is taken in the New Testament in the book of Luke, chapter 23, verse 56, and chapter 24, verses 1 to 12. I invite the congregation to please stand. And I will read for you. The woman who had come with Jesus from Galilee followed Joseph and saw the tomb and how his body was laid in it. Then when they went home and prepared spices and perfumes, but they rested on the Sabbath in obedience to the commandment. On the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the women took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were wondering about this, suddenly two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. In their fright, the women bowed down with their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still with you in Galilee? The Son of Man must be delivered over to the hands of sinners, be crucified, and on the third day be raised again. Then they remembered his words. When they came back from the tomb, they told all these things to the eleven and to all the others. It was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary, the mother of James, and the others with them who told this to the apostles. But they did not believe the women because their words seemed like nonsense. Peter, however, got up and ran to the tomb. Bending over, he saw the stripes of linen lying by themselves, and he went away, wondering to himself what had happened. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You may be seated. Sisters, brothers in Christ, the central symbol of the Christianity is the cross. And the central fact of Christianity 
is the resurrection. In other words, it is impossible to be a Christian unless you believe in the resurrection. In the Apostle Creed, after we confess that Jesus was crucified, dead and buried, and descended into hell, we also affirm that on the third day, he rose again from the dead. And this unique affirmation set apart Christianity from all other religion, set apart Christ from all other who ever lived. He died, but raised from the dead by the power of God Almighty. Just as the cross of Christ is a mystery, so also the resurrections of Jesus Christ from the dead. There is no way by which we can possibly explain the event of resurrection. It is the resurrection explains to us. It is because of the resurrection that we are here to celebrate our faith. It is because of the resurrection that we worship on the first day of the week. It is because of the resurrection occurred that all teaching of Jesus were collected, preserved, and transmitted. It is because of the, Christ, of the resurrection that the Christian church exists. Sisters and brothers in Christ, this affirmation brings us to the conclusion that on Easter or Resurrection Day, the victory of Christ has become our victory. That we have been won along with his victory over evil's power. The Apostle Paul, in his letter to the Corinthians, in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 14, but if Christ has not been raised, your faith is useless. With that statement, Paul would emphasize to the Corinthians and all the believers who read this letter that the resurrection of the Lord Jesus is very important and central event of the life of faith. Without the resurrections of the Lord Jesus, our life is useless. Indeed, sisters and brothers in Christ, no one witnessed the resurrection event. The event of the resurrection is a power. It is a power. And since it is, or Passover is a power, it must be experienced, not just to remember or reminiscence. Because of Christ's resurrection event, we are here to preach our faith and belief through the Passover celebration. Sisters and brothers in Christ, this empty tomb that is in Israel is the only tourist object in the world that attracts so many tourists to see nothing, to see the empty tomb. And the resurrection of Christ has indeed brought great change, how not? For through the Passover, the crucified Christ died and was buried and rose and won. 
and he triumphed over the most terrible power that is death. And because of that, he defeated all the power of fear, restlessness, and despair. And so it reveals the whole futures as well. Full of hope and full of certainty. This is the reason for the drastic difference in the lives of disciples between before and after the Christ resurrection. They changed greatly. A few days ago, they were so scared. Now they are so brave. If they gave testimony in small towns outside Jerusalem, that is not so surprising. But they did it in the city of Jerusalem, which was the center of the enemies of the Lord Jesus. Jerusalem is the home of the high priest, the chief priest, the Pharisees, the scribes, the Sadducees, and the Jewish masses who all hate the Lord Jesus. Obviously, the disciples of the Lord became very brave. In front of those who feel successful completing the history of the Lord Jesus, they were crying out the opposite. Jesus is risen. He is the living God. That is the big change that happened to the disciples of Jesus. From lack of certainty to being sure as you are. From a broken heart of full heart. Again, what caused such, such a change? What's more, if not the fact that Jesus really alive. He is indeed alive. Therefore, the resurrection of Christ becomes the center and core of all Christian faith. It is as if that is what the gospel and the letters of Paul's are written. Spoken by the gospel, starting from the fact of the birth, the ministry of Jesus and other events, as though it were merely an introduction to the events on the first day of the week, the day of the resurrection of Christ, or the day of the Passover, the Easter day. With the resurrections of Christ, we are open to new possibilities. So our life does not stop and ends in death, but our life continues into the other, other next life. A new possibility based on a living and definite hope. By his resurrection, Jesus is exalted and glorified by God to show himself as life. The resurrection made Jesus not only alive, but also made him empowered to give life. His resurrection is the first fruit of our resurrection and thus validated that he is the source of that life. The Lord Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And when Jesus is the way for us, we will find the truth that will, that will make us life. Life, the true life, the new life. And the resurrection of Jesus is the sign and the proof of it. Sisters and brothers, the Lord Jesus is the owner of both physical and spiritual life. We too often consider life to be automatic or self-existent. Just as we assume that by itself tomorrow morning we will wake up again. And who can guarantee that tomorrow morning 
we will make we will wake up again life does not exist by itself it exists because it is given every day every morning what gives us life again if we look at life with that or such spectacles we will thank god that we live and feel the preciousness of life every morning and every work day we start with a sense of joy thank god you gave us another day brothers and sisters in christ easter heralding the news life is a gift but not only give but also assignment he commissioned us to live this life not live at random but live with passion and quality often we hear people say life is only once so enjoy it and make the most of it this phrase is not wrong Yes. Life is just once. But precisely because only once we should use it as well as possible not at will. Utilizing it is not really what it takes. For our life is not an inheritance that we can use. Our life is a deposit that we must accountable we must be accountable to God one day sisters and brothers we all want to live the proof we immediately jump to the edge if you see a vehicle will be in the rear actually not only want to live but we also want to survive we listen to stories and accidents like drowned vessel where fixed teams for several days several nights hold on to the board against the ocean waves what for to survive people are hospitalized dissected shine at mri infused etc for what to survive we want to live and every sunday we recite the creed an eternal life and what does it mean the eternal life many people think that eternal life is the life after death that is immortal but according to the lord jesus this is life eternal that they might know the the only true god and jesus christ whom thou hast sent john chapter 17 verse 3 to know thee to know you what does it mean know you and to know jesus christ in the bible the word to know is not used in the sense of knowing as we know master so and so the bible knows to have a special intimate relationship Thus, eternal life is life in the right fellowship with God. And as a logical consequence, it must also mean living in true fellowship with others. Therefore, eternal life does not first refer to the length of life, but the quality and content of life. Eternal life means a true life or meaningful life. And when we call real life to be accomplished, when? Not later, when it's death, 
But from now on, while you are here in this world, in John chapter 14, verse 7, Jesus says, Now you know him. Why has it been possible to start life from now on? Because such a life is found only in Jesus Christ. It is Christ who gives that life. He said, I am the way. I am the resurrection and the life. And by that events of the Passover, his gifts becomes valid. Thus our lives have a precious purpose, living for God and living for others. Just as God lives for us and others live for us, that is the purpose of life, to turn each other on. If that's the purpose of life, do not we get excited about this life to be worth living? An overwhelming spirit of life, overflowing with a belief that I know my Redeemer lives. I know and I want everyone to know that I have a living Redeemer, not a dead Redeemer. There is a huge difference between having a, life, a living Redeemer and a, and a Redeemer who dies. For Christians, of course, the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem is important. Very, very important. For Christians, of course, the death of Jesus at Golgotha is important. And more importantly, can you imagine that Jesus was not born or born, but not willing to bear the cross to the death in the Golgotha? The, but the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem and his death at Golgotha is important and very, very important because Jesus rose, raised from the dead. Jesus is alive. If only Jesus were born and died but not risen, no longer alive, what difference does Jesus have with other great men and great heroes? Because Jesus rose. Because Jesus lives, everything changes. There is a new spirit. There is a new hope. There is a new future, even bigger than ever. I know my Redeemer lives, meaning the difficulties and challenges must still exist, maybe even bigger or harder but I know my Redeemer lives. I will not be afraid. I could be in danger, perhaps a great danger, and an even greater danger. My soul and my safety are threatened, but I know my Redeemer lives. I'm not afraid. If the power of that can be defeated by him, what other power cannot he break? And once again, if Simon alone was approached, he will also be willing to meet us, with us. Not to make our lives easier, but to make us more resilient, stronger, more determined to face life and to face any future. May God bless you and be with you now and all the way. Amen. Come every soul by
Him, only trust Him now. He will save you, He will save you, He will save you now. For Jesus shed His precious blood, rich blessing to bestow. That was it, while as snow. Only trust him, only trust him, only trust him now. He will save you, he will save you, he will save you. Let us all stand for the affirmation of our faith, together with the churches in all centuries and places, and together with all believers throughout the ages. Let us say what we believe. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of things visible and invisible, and in one Lord, the only Son of God. Begotten from Father. Begotten, not made of the same essence as the Father. Through Him all things were made for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. He became incarnate by the Holy Ghost and the Virgin Mary and was made human. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried. The third day he rose again, according to the scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will never end. And we believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord, the giver of life. He proceeds from the Father of the Son, and with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified. He spoke through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We affirm one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. We look forward to the resurrections of the dead and to life in the world to come. Amen. Please be seated. Sunday Church, Salamat Pascha.
Let us bow our head in prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Father in Jesus Christ, the Lord whom we adore together with the Holy Spirit, thank you for this opportunity that you have gathered us together here to worship you. We thank you for your protection given to us collectively and individually. We thank you for your blessings bestowed upon us physically and spiritually, although we often doing things against your will. Forgive us, O Lord. We thank you for the hope we have in Jesus, who died but is risen and rule over all. We thank you for his presence with us. Keep us joyful in all our trials and guard faith so we may receive the wonderful inheritance of life eternal which you have prepared for us. 
We pray for our families and relatives back home in Indonesia and in everywhere. Our parents, our husbands, wives, children. O oh Lord, protect them as you protect us here. Unite us through our prayer, although we are living in different times and, and places. O oh Lord, we pray for leaders who serve in the United Nations, in our nation, in Indonesia, and in America, and in other lands. May they all bow to your power and follow your leading. O oh Lord, we pray for your churches in the world. Your churches in Indonesia, especially the churches that experience predicament and persecution, give them strength and courage to continue on their missions and ministries. Lord, we pray for our church, IPC, in doing our ministries. We ask your interference in our communion, witness, and service, so that through the life of our church, your name be glorified and many people will come to you. We pray for all of us as we do our daily works, for those who work on the road, in the office, in the schools, in shop, in the factory, in the hospital, at home, and in everywhere. Be with us, O God, and bless each of us. O Lord, bless this congregation in doing our ministries and witnesses. Keep us one in faith and service, telling the good news to the world that all may believe you are love, turn to your ways, and live to give you glory. O Lord, we pray for those who cannot accommodate to come for many reasons, especially for those who are sick, or in the process of recovery. Lord, we pray for Andres Mamahit, Mrs. Selfie Grebel, Mrs. Dorcha Rambing, Febri Sumarianto, Dika Norcha Sigar, Mrs. Katocha Pepar, Luke Lumanau, and Bob Server. O oh Lord, be with them. Bless all means that use for their recovery, the medication, the doctors, the nurses who attend them. Guide them, use their skill to restore them to health and joy. O oh Lord, we pray for those who are mourned to family Wawaruntu Rambing for the loss of their father. Be gracious to them in their grief and surround them with your unfailing love that they may not be overwhelmed by their loss but have confidence in your goodness and courage to meet the days to come. Lord, we pray also for elderly people in the bound of our congregation. Protect and guide them as they carry out their lives at the retirement age. Give them good health and strengthen their faith. Assure them that you are always with them, sustaining, supporting, and bless. Lord, now we want to offer our own prayer in silence. Hear our prayers, O God of grace, 
Forgive our sins and we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who lived, who taught us to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
brothers and sisters in Christ, as part of our worship, it's time for us to give to God our offering, pledges, tithes, and church maintenance funds. You can give your offering also by sending online through Zelle account for IPC Fullerton. Our gifts today are the one way that we trust God, even in a world that keeps telling us to be afraid. We let go of thinking that we are on our own and live each day in graceful dependence on God. Let us gather our gifts together and offer them to God in gratitude and praise. Let us sing a song of praise because he lives as the offering is distributed. God Yesus namanya menyembuhkan, menyucikan, bahkan mati, tebus dosaku, kubur kosong membuktikan dia hidup, sebab dia of your son Jesus Christ just as the women encountered the empty tomb and the angelic message of new life 
we too encounter the, li the living Christ in our hearts and lives. As we come to present our tithes and offerings, may they be an aff affirm affirmation of our search for the risen Christ, the one who challenges us to see beyond our own expectations. Bless our giving and help us discover the transformative power of the living Jesus in our lives. In the holy name of our risen Savior, we pray. Amen. You may be seated. Warta Jemaat, Warta Keuangan Minggu 24 Maret 2024, detail bisa dibaca di dalam lembaran liturgi, total 2.386 dolar dan 50 sen. Terima kasih atas pemberian perpuluhan dan pledge, serta persembahan lainnya, Tuhan memberkati. Perkapita tahun 2024, adalah sebesar 80 dolar per member per tahun. Mohon perhatian jemaat. Petugas kebersihan hari ini adalah kaum bapak. Family prayer um, untuk hari ini 31 Maret. Kaleb dan Yola Kodongan. Jansen, Petra, dan Matthew Kolwai. Untuk tanggal 7 April. Keluarga Frankie dan Angki Limbat dan Hilda Lumentu. Untuk tanggal 14 April, keluarga Andreas, Daryl, dan Antoinette Mamahet, dan juga Tres Wawor. Berita Duka Cita Telah meninggal dunia Bapak Isaac Joseph Frambing, 92 tahun, di Anaheim, California pada tanggal 26 Maret 2024. Pengurus dan jemaat menyampaikan rasa turut bertuka cita yang dalam kepada seluruh keluarga yang ditinggalkan. Berita mungkin berita tambahan. Susu makan akan diadakan sakramen perjamuan kudus, ini susulan di chapel. Bagi anggota CD jemaat yang tidak berkesempatan mengikut, mengikutinya pada Jumat Agung dipersilakan untuk mengambil bagian pada hari ini. Perayaan Pasca 2024 PGGPI dalam bentuk Malam Sabda dan Nada akan diadakan hari Sabtu 13 April 2024 mulai pukul 6 sore bertempat di GKPI USA dengan alamat 1029 Large Avenue Bloomington, California, 92316. Diharapkan kehadiran anggota jemaat IPC. Pengumuman yang berikutnya, saya mengundang um, Deacon Oscar Matulesia untuk menjelaskan. Shalom. Kami dari Board of Deacon, uh, mulai pada hari minggu ini, akan memulai uh, fundraising dan fundraisingnya itu seperti Bapak Ibu bisa lihat itu 50 inch TV dan fundraisingnya ini akan membantu kas gereja uh, per tiket itu sebesar 5 dolar dan kami mengharapkan uh, anggota jemaat at least membeli satu tiket uh, 5 dolar bisa dapat TV 50 inch dan bukan hanya itu kita ini tidak strictly untuk anggota jemaat saja tetapi bisa untuk teman kerja friends and family uh, classmate bisa yang bukan non members juga bisa berpartisipasi dan ada perubahan sedikit untuk raffle-nya itu undinya akan dicabut bukan April 14 tetapi pada saat talk back April 28 minggu terakhir bulan ini jadi kami mengharapkan partisipasi dari setiap anggota jemaat dan juga uh, bisa ditawarkan ke teman-teman kerja dan uh, 
kerabat-kerabat saudara. Terima kasih. Shalom. Dan pengumuman yang berikutnya saya juga akan me- mengundang uh, Elder Dani Sigar untuk penjelasan. Shalom. Uh, kam- kami dari kategorial uh, dari Perlu ada pengumuman. Uh, yang pengumuman akan dibawa oleh Direktur Dora Hasenbar. Uh, silakan. Selamat sore. Kami dari Perlu uh, ingin melengkapi pengumuman yang ada di nomor 7 mengenai uh, field trip yang akan diadakan tanggal 7 Juni sampai tanggal 8 Juni dari uh, perlu uh, yang ke, kami mohon agar supaya anggota perlu yang mau ikut di field trip ini untuk dapat mendaftarkan ke uh, Ibu Helda atau Ibu Rumpak uh, biaya yang akan diambil dari anggota perlu yang jelas 15 dolar untuk masuk ke park di Lake Havasu tempatnya di Lake Havasu dan dan akan diambil juga biaya untuk gasoline karena kita akan menyewa bus untuk 15 orang dan tergantung dari berapa banyak yang akan ikut kalau perlu ya kita harus ambil dua bus dan itu memerlukan bensin dan itu yang akan diambil dari uh, siapa uh, dari anggota yang akan ikut untuk uh, anggota yang lain yang uh, belum termasuk di perlu itu akan diambil biaya kita belum tahu berapa tapi mungkin akan lebih biayanya uh, dan uh, penutupan dari pendaftaran akan dia ambil akan ditentukan tanggal 31 April ya tanggal 1 April uh, karena kita harus uh, reservation tempat di Pekavesu dan untuk reservation bus jadi kalau, kalau bisa jangan melewati tanggal akhir bulan April kita perginya bulan Juni tanggal 7 saya rasa Uh, kalau ada pertanyaan nanti tolong disampaikan kepada Ibu kepada saya sendiri atau Ibu Hilda Rumpak. atau Ibu Rumpak. Saya rasa itu dulu. Terima kasih. Tuhan memberkati. Pengumuman berikutnya, jadwal uh, pembawa makanan untuk tanggal 7 April, Aurora Sigar, Esther Sumarianto, Tres Wawar, Berliana Tanamal, Grace Van Someren Brand, dan kebersihan oleh kaum ibu. Untuk tanggal 14 April, Nita Siasangkai, Johan Mewengkang, Adolfin Usmani, Tingkan Sumampau, Hana Ketampi, dan kebersihan oleh Youth Rise. Pelayan ibadah untuk tanggal 7 April, pelayan firman oleh pendeta Dr. John Mambu, liturgi 1 Elder Johnny Sangkai, liturgi 2 Grace Van Someren Brand, pembaca Alkitab Kaleb Kodongan, pemasang lilin Karisa Pangkerego, pemusik Franz Rahartana, Sunday School Dani dan Paula, Kantoria um, Steri Anika dan Luisa, Jadwal nyanyi bunga dan kaum bapa, Asher oleh kaum bapa, greeters keluarga Andre Tanamal dan Perry, dan operator uh, Jeremiah, Eli, and Nathan. Untuk hari ulang tahun nama-nama yang saya panggil uh, diundang untuk duduk di depan. Uh, 
tanggal 25 Maret Stephanie Sigar dan Matilda Wuisang tanggal 26 Maret Red David tanggal 28 Maret Deacon Miss ke Tuturong dan tanggal 31 Maret hari ini uh, Norce Maramis Moniaga God, our Father in Jesus Christ, who risen from the dead, our times are in your hand. Look with favor, we pray, on your servant, Stephanie Sigar, Matilda Wisson, Elder Fred David, you can make her and Mrs. Norcha Maramis Moniaga. As they begin another year, grant that they may grow in wisdom and grace and strengthen their trust in your goodness all the days of their lives. Tuhan Allah, Bapa Yang Maha Kuasa, Bapa dalam Tuhan Yesus Kristus, Tuhan yang bangkit dari antara orang mati, Tuhan yang hidup, Tuhan yang memberikan kami kehidupan, Tuhan yang memelihara hidup kami, kepadamu kami naikkan puji-pujian dan hormat. Atas perkenanan Tuhan yang telah menambahkan lagi usia setahun bagi Stefani, Matilda, Red, Mace, dan Ibu Norce. Kiranya engkau mengisi hari-hari kehidupan yang Tuhan tambahkan dalam hidup mereka. Berkat-berkatmu dan anugerahmu Mengaruniakan mereka kesehatan yang baik selalu Serta kekuatan bagi tubuh istimewa iman kepadamu Kekuatan untuk menghadapi hari-hari kehidupan mereka Dengan segala romantikanya Tuhan berkati tugas-tugas pekerjaan mereka sehari-hari Studi dan pelajaran mereka Pekerjaan mereka dan pelayanan mereka. Tuhan, jaga dan lindungi mereka dari segala rupa marah bahaya. Jauhkanlah daripada mereka segala rupa yang jahat. Dan Tuhan, kami serahkan mereka ke dalam tangan pengasihan pemeliharaan-Mu. Karena dalam tangan pengasihan Tuhanlah. Mereka beroleh selamat hidup dan terpelihara. 
Tuhan dengar sambut doa dan syukur kami. Kami bawa alaskan di dalam nama Tuhan Yesus Kristus. Juru selamat kami. Gembala kami yang baik. Dan penebus kami yang hidup. Amin. For those who worship with us for the first time, you are subject to stand in where you are and uh, introduce your name, where you come from, and if we have any guests. Any more guests? Ada lagi tamu yang baru pertama kali. Kalau tidak ada, maka atas nama pengurus dan jemaat kami mengucapkan selamat datang kepada saudara-saudara yang baru pertama kali beribadah. Kiranya ibadah ini boleh menjadi berkat bagi saudara-saudara sekalian. Saudara-saudara, marilah sekarang kita bangkit berdiri dan kita menyanyikan nyanyian pengutusan, yaitu nyanyian Stand Up, Stand Up for Jesus. protection of God's love who always accompanies and blesses our lives. Let us continue and fulfill our duties and calling as a church with our confidence in the health and love of Christ who has given us new life. 
And now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord be kind and gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Yeah. 